The Amazon rainforest is one of the most mysterious and untamed places on Earth, covering over 6.9 million square kilometers and being home to over 3 million animal species and 40,000 plant species. It's a giant puzzle that has made a home for itself in the heart of South America. And with so much left to discover, it's no wonder that explorers are pulled in by its breathtaking beauty and captivated by the excitement of uncovering its many mysteries. Ready for a mind-blowing adventure? Join us as we explore the terrifying discovery hidden in the Amazon rainforest that scientists discovered, the Holodera. In the 1990s, something mysterious happened to grab the attention of Jeremy Wade, a TV host and biologist in the Brazilian Amazon basin. In this large area, he found a creature that looked like a river dolphin, but had rough edges along its back, instead of the usual fin on its back. Wade first looked at this strange animal from about 100 feet away while fishing. When he asked the locals about it, they didn't know anything about it and assumed he was drunk. Wade returned to the area the next year, not giving up and wanting to find out the truth. On this second trip, he met a guy who had seen the animal a few weeks before and called it the Holodera. Wade saw the creature again and took pictures. Some ideas said it might be an Amazon river dolphin accidentally hurt by fishing gear or propellers, but Wade saw that the notches along its back looked purposely placed. This made him think it might have been done intentionally, maybe by a mad fisherman. Even with many sightings, this creature stayed tough to find, never getting looked at closely by scientists, and its true nature remains a mystery. We don't know if it was a one-time strange thing or a different kind of animal, making it different from other river dolphins in the mix of life in the Amazon basin. The Arapaima. In the depths of the Amazon jungle is another amazing discovery, the tough Arapaima. This water giant is the biggest fish with scales in the world. It weighs an impressive 440 pounds and stretches to 15 feet, making it the biggest. Protected by a tough armor of strong scales, the Arapaima has adapted to survive threats from predators like the famous piranhas. Because of how tough the scales are, scientists are considering using them to make bulletproof armor, an unexpected but clever idea inspired by this huge fish. Adding to its list of cool features, the Arapaima can breathe air. Every 5 to 15 minutes it comes up to take in fresh air. While this special change gives it a clear advantage, letting it do well in tough places, it also makes the Arapaima easier for fishermen to catch. But that is not all it is. It's a prized food. The amount of tasty meat one Arapaima can give makes it a wanted catch among the locals making them always watchful in their hunt for these amazing creatures. Payara. The Payara is also known as the saber-toothed tigerfish and the water wolf. It's one of the most interesting fish in these waters. As a fierce predator in the Amazon River, this rare fish has very sharp teeth that can grow up to six inches long. These teeth are not just long, but also big. The payara is born with specially developed holes in their upper jaws to fit these saber-tooth-like teeth. It's no surprise that payaras are meat-eaters with a big appetite. They eat many kinds of fish, like piranhas, tetras and catfish. They are also known to attack and kill small mammals and birds, and they can even attack and kill a human if they see one. These fish live in the fast-flowing rivers of the Amazon, where the water moves fast. They can also be found near waterfalls. Their big yet slim silvery bodies with dark green or blue backs help them move easily despite the current. This fierce fish lays eggs so it doesn't give birth to live babies. A female payara can lay up to 100,000 eggs at once, which hatch just 24 hours after the male payara fertilizes them. The Kandiru fish. This tiny hunter, often named the toothpick fish or vampire fish, is well known for attacking unsuspecting swimmers and digging holes into their bodies. The Kandiru fish is a parasitic catfish that belongs to the Trichomycteridae family. It is 5 to 10 centimeters long and has a slim, see-through body, a somewhat flat head and a spiky dorsal fin. The fish's spine helps anchor it to its host and allows the fish to take blood from the gills 
or other openings of its victims. The kandiru primarily goes after other fish as prey, with a special liking for larger species such as catfish. It locates its prey by following the smell of urine and other bodily fluids, relying on its sensitive sense of smell. Its feeding cycle is both fast and effective. Within just two minutes, it can consume up to 30 times its body weight in blood. However, scientific proof suggests that stories of Kandiru attacks on humans are unfounded, as studies have demonstrated that they are not drawn to human urine and lack the physical changes necessary to pass through the narrow passages of the human body. T-Rex Leeches You might know about sponges, but the Big King Leech takes the idea to a new level. Even though it has a big name, this small creature is usually less than 5 centimeters long. But don't let its size fool you, because its teeth are anything but small. The T-Rex Leech has 8 sharp fangs, each at 130 microns. While this might seem tiny to the naked eye, it's worth noting that it's five times bigger than the teeth of a regular leech. These tiny terrors have a strong bite. The T-Rex leech's unsettling habit of getting into its hosts makes it different from others. Using its strong teeth, this sponge is known to chew into the tissues of mammals' various openings, like eyes, pee holes, and bottoms. It's as creepy as it sounds. People first documented meeting this eerie creature in 2007 when they took one out of a girl's nose in Peru's central Chanchamayo province. The girl, who often went into lakes, rivers and streams in the Amazonian region of Peru, felt a creepy sliding feeling in the back of her nose. Oddly enough, despite its creepy nature, the T-Rex leech might be important in medicine. Scientists at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City are looking into studying this creature, hoping to make drugs that can stop blood from clotting. The leech's unique saliva contains anticoagulant properties that could prove useful in dealing with various medical situations. Paku fish. Continuing our journey, check out the Paku fish, another cool resident of the Amazon River. While its weirdly human-like teeth might give you the creeps, there's no need for too much worry. The Paku fish eats fruits and nuts. Now, some surprising stories are floating around about male swimmers saying they've had encounters with these fish nibbling on their private parts, but it's important to take such tales with a bit of doubt. In the animal world, a general rule says that even harmless creatures can act defensively or aggressively if they feel threatened or if their home is disturbed. Navigating the waters of the Amazon River needs a careful approach. Interestingly, Paku fish have a legal home in the United States, but there's a trick. These fish can grow up to four feet. When these water residents get too big for their tanks, some owners solve the problem by setting them free in nearby lakes. The mix of having them legally and the chance of unintended problems in local ecosystems makes the story of the Paku fish in the United States even more interesting. The Vampire Wasp as the name suggests, this wasp is a mean vampire known for its scary feeding habits, which are different from those of a regular wasp. Normal wasps would usually give a painful sting and then go away, but vampire wasps take it a step further by moving into their host's skin to live and grow inside their host's body. Very scary indeed. The adult female wasp lays her eggs under the skin of her unsuspecting prey, and once these eggs hatch into larvae, they start to feed on the host's body fluids, growing and developing fast. Unlike adults, these larvae are legless and look like grubs, wiggling around their host's living tissue. When fully developed, they come out as adult wasps, bursting through the host's skin, leaving their host weakened and vulnerable. The larvae's feeding can cause inside injuries, which weaken the host's immune system and even lead to death. In some cases, the host may be able to take out the larvae or wasps, but this usually leaves them with permanent scars and a weakened state. Thankfully, humans are not the main targets of these wasps, but there have been a few recorded cases of humans being stung by this parasite. It was noted that the stings were extremely painful. Giant orange creature. A big discovery has come to light 
adding a new layer to our understanding of the region's many different plants and animals. Scientists found a new kind of giant crab spider named Sadala Simon. This special find was made by the Sadala Group in Ecuador and was led by the Asuni Biosphere Reserve, a well-known area for many different plants and animals. The Sadala Simon, only found in female examples, shows how it has adapted and is good at surviving. Researchers look at how its baby-making system looks different from other similar species, as the colors are pretty much the same. Named for how it stands, with its legs spread out to the sides, the giant crab spider gets attention because it's much bigger than regular spider types. This finding shows the huge, mostly unknown variety of spiders in the American tropics, especially in Ecuador. Even with around 1,000 known spider species, Ecuador only knows a bit about different kinds of spiders compared to its Andean neighbors. This tells us there could be more discoveries waiting, and it shows how important it is to do more research to understand how many different kinds of spiders there are in the area. Also, it's worth noting that people who are afraid of spiders might find it tough to explore the wilds of the Amazon. Fire-tailed Titi Monkey A recent discovery in the large southern Amazon rainforest has added a new member to the always growing mix of plants and animals, the fire-tailed Titi Monkey. First seen between 2014 and 2015, this species became a special part of the many different life forms in the Amazon, one of the 381 new species found during that time. Known for its bright orange tail, the fire-tailed titi monkey stands out against the green of its home. Even with their flashy tails, these monkeys are good at hiding, blending into the treetops of the Amazonian rainforest. This species is special not just for its colorful looks, but also for its light gray forehead line, dark ochre throat and sideburns, and dark gray flanks and body. The fire-tailed titi monkey shows how rich and different the ecosystem is in the Amazon, adding one more layer to the many different plants and animals in this famous rainforest. Peanut Head Bug The peanut head bug is very weird, just like its name suggests. It's different because it looks strange, making it easy to see. Its head looks like a peanut, and it cleverly pretends to be something else to scare away enemies. It goes even further by letting out a stinky smell when it's in danger. What's even cooler is that it can hide easily because it can change colors to match where it is. But wait, there's more. The bug surprises us with a fun thing on its wings. Big, fake eyes. These eyes make it seem like a bigger and scarier bug, scaring away dangers. And guess what? These bugs even shine in the dark because they have a bright quality. Besides looking strange, these bugs help plants grow by spreading magic dust called pollen. Even though they look weird, these bugs are important for making sure everything stays good in their bug neighborhood. The Wayward Humpback Whale In 2019 on Marco Island in Brazil, a surprising discovery was made. The body of a 10-ton, 26-foot-long baby humpback whale, only about a year old. The sad creature was found about 50 feet from the river. These sea animals are supposed to stay in the ocean. So this strange thing led to different ideas among animal experts. The main idea is that after getting separated from its mum, the baby whale was pushed onto the land by strong waves during a storm. The high tides, reaching almost four meters and flooding the mangrove forests, probably carried the blown up body deeper into the forest because of gases from the body breaking down. This is seen as strange because humpback whales are usually found thousands of miles south along Brazil's Bahia coast from August to November to make babies before going north to Antarctica by February. The reason the baby whale died isn't clear because of the breaking down, but researchers are looking into possible reasons, like getting stuck in a net or hitting a boat. Another idea is that the young whale might have accidentally eaten plastic junk. We can only hope that this scary thing won't happen again as the number of whales is slowly decreasing. A new orchid species. In the green areas of the Peruvian Amazon, especially in the Tingo Maria National Park, a recent discovery reveals a new orchid species. 
Andinia Tingo Mariana, yet another of nature's hidden treasures. This plant discovery enriches the already diverse array of around 240 orchid species thriving within the park. Standing out for its striking resemblance to the flowers of the former genus Salatiel, this orchid might be a familiar sight for those passionate about flowers. The organism's discovery, thriving on mosses and vines at an elevation of around 4,215 feet, showcases the region's abundant natural heritage and well-preserved conservation standards. This revelation emphasizes that the area's richness extends not only to fauna, but also to flora. This new species contributes to the 72 Andinia genus species confined to the Andes and stretching from northern Colombia to northern Bolivia. This discovery, led by Peruvian and American botanists, unravels the Amazon's intricate and diverse botanical tapestry, a region that continues to hold mysteries and new wonders awaiting exploration. However, what adds a layer of concern to this revelation is the realization that, not even a decade after its discovery, the conservation status of Andinia Tingo Mariana is already a matter of grave concern. Currently restricted to a specific mountain range within Tingo Maria National Park, the orchid faces potential vulnerability due to its limited numbers and distribution. There's a looming possibility that this botanical marvel may not endure for generations to come, underscoring the fragility of its existence in the face of evolving environmental challenges. Glass Frog In the green Amazon River area, a creature that's good at adapting is the glass frog. What makes these frogs special is their see-through, almost crystal-like look. You can see through their skin, especially on their bellies, and check out their inside parts like their heart, stomach, liver, and intestines. Around 160 different kinds of glass frogs exist, mostly in tropical areas with lowland forests and mountains across the Amazon. Most of these frogs are small, about 20 to 30 millimeter long, but some can get as big as 80 millimeter. Even if the idea of a see-through frog might sound scary, you don't need to worry because these creatures stay in the rainforest. I get that most people might feel a bit weird seeing their tiny hearts beating. Amazonian giant centipedes. This creature is a mix of amazement and fear. As the biggest centipede on earth, it is scientifically known as the giant centipede. Scientifically known as Scolopendra gigantea. With an impressive length of 12 inches, this centipede's tough body is made of many pieces and adorned with countless pairs of moving legs, like a tiny snake giving chills to even the most experienced explorers. Besides its scary size, the centipede has a nasty bite that can cause severe pain, swelling, fever, and tiredness in its unlucky victims. Its venom is a weapon that helps it catch prey of incredible size, including frogs, mice, snakes, and even small birds. Fortunately for those in the centipede's home, these creatures naturally stay away from humans, preferring the privacy of their rainforest home. However, this centipede wouldn't hesitate to unleash its biting venom if provoked or threatened. A bite from this creature can be an unforgettable experience, leaving one with a burning pain that can last for days. Are you ready to discover something exciting? Our team has recently unveiled the I Found It tough case for iPhones and Samsung devices. This case has been designed to withstand the test of time and offers unparalleled durability. It is now available for purchase, just in time for the new year. Take advantage of the opportunity to get your hands on this amazing product. Simply click on the link provided in the description to place your order. Which of these discoveries did you find the most interesting? Share your thoughts in the comments. Also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for even more interesting and captivating videos. See you there.